Hello everybody, I am Mike Norman. Many of you know me from these videos. Some of you might know me from watching me on Fox News over the years. But I bet a lot of you also know me from the now infamous uh, Peter Schiff YouTube videos. And those videos, uh, which were recorded about two and a half years ago, Peter Schiff uh, talks about how or shows how he accurately predicted the housing market bubble. You know, a lot of people predicted the housing market bubble back then. Peter Schiff uh, was not alone. He has a lot of company in that regard. But uh, in another sense, many of the other uh, forecasts and predictions made by Peter Schiff were completely wrong. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the outcomes of so many things, so many of his predictions went far, far, far in the opposite direction. Let me give you some examples, and many of you probably know quite well that Peter Schiff, uh, for a long time, said that in America is so in debt that foreigners are going to start to dump treasuries and we're going to see a spike in interest rates. Yet throughout this whole entire financial crisis, uh, treasuries have been the strongest asset in the world and even as a matter of fact um, uh, in the last year we have seen foreigners increasing not decreasing not selling not dumping but increasing their holdings of US Treasuries and we have also seen interest rates in the United States plummet to the lowest level in fact the federal funds rate which is the main overnight interest rate set by the Fed is now at zero zero percent uh, another prediction made by Peter Schiff constantly is that we will see a crash, a total collapse in the U.S. dollar. Yet once again, uh, over the course of this entire market crisis, which was a global market crisis, which was the worst economic and market crisis that we have seen since the Great Depression, the dollar was also tied in first place for strongest performing asset right there with U.S. Treasuries. So Peter Schiff got this all wrong. He got this all wrong. Uh, what about gold? You know, gold has been a favorite of Peter Schiff. And as a matter of fact, his prediction on the gold price was that the gold would hit the equivalent, one ounce of gold would be the equivalent of the Dow Jones. Well, the Dow Jones is now at, what, 9,400, 9,300. That would mean, according to Schiff's prediction, that we should see gold now at 9,000, over $9,000 an ounce. Okay, let's, let's cut the guy some slack. He did say in 2009, this year, gold would hit $2,000 an ounce. Well, there's still, uh, we still have four months left in the year, so it's possible, but it certainly isn't uh, looking like it's going to happen. And I'll tell you this, once again, throughout this entire uh, global market meltdown, economic meltdown, um, gold did not do very much. Uh, it was better, I guess, than uh, some of the other commodities, which plunged, but gold did not do very much, and gold stocks were actually at the bottom of the list in terms of performance of assets. So if you had been in gold through uh, the proxy of gold stocks, you would have done very, very poorly. But my question now is, where is Peter Schiff? And I asked this question in light of data that we have seen this morning, uh, which is uh, not just uh, a, a unique uh, release today, but it's sort of been building now for the past few months, uh, existing home sales. We got some numbers out today from the National Association of Realtors showing a very huge increase in the amount of home sales. As a matter of fact, the increase in today's data was the largest in 23 years. And if you look at the annual rate of existing home sales right now, 5.2 uh, million, I believe the number was. That is nearly 10 times, 10 times the amount of new homes that we are building. Uh, so yes, uh, Peter may have called the uh, housing market bubble. My question is, however, where is he now? When will he admit that things are starting to improve? Since March, the Dow Jones has increased by 47%. Gold has done nothing. Home prices are stabilizing. They're starting to rise once again. Home sales, as we see in the data, consecutively now for a number of months, starting to increase. And we see the rate of home sales exceeding the amount of new construction by 10 to 1. 
if anything, folks, you know, he may have got the last two years right, but what does the next five or ten years look like? I could tell you this, it doesn't take a mathematical genius to understand that if we keep going at the rate we're going, that is, uh, reducing the outstanding supply of homes and not building any new ones, we are going to face the mother of all housing shortages. Yes, that's Mike Norman, me, going on record right now. So where is Peter Schiff? When will he admit that so many of the things that he talked about are not just wrong, but the absolute opposite has occurred? Well, Peter Schiff right now is engaged in an exploratory campaign for U.S. Senator from Connecticut. And I'd love to say I wish him luck. Perhaps I, I wish him a certain amount of luck. But for me, it's, it, it's sort of a, a, a test or a barometer of what we hold dear and valuable in this country. Peter Schiff and the likes of Peter Schiff, guys like Ron Paul, who are so negative on America, who see America as a failed nation, as a nation whose destiny it is to go down and not up despite the fact that we have over 200 years of history of literally a straight line up of income growth and prosperity and the reason is we thankfully over that period of time have not allowed the crazy rantings of people like Peter Schiff like Ron Paul to affect in a significant way what this country is all about. Now I'll just leave you with this because Peter Schiff often says that our economy is phony. Well you know I lived 10 years in one of the wealthiest countries in the world and that was Switzerland and I could tell you from experience that the standard of living in this very very wealthy country of Switzerland does not compare to the standard of living that most average Americans enjoy right here in the United States. That's a real way to gauge a country's economy. And you could go on and on and on and talk about how the data is phony and it's made up and it is not real and it's pumped up or inflated. But the fact of the matter is, when you look at apples to apples and oranges to oranges, how do we live as Americans compared to other people in the world who reside in other nations? There's no comparison. There is no comparison. Well, as always, I welcome your comments. Something tells me uh, I'm going to get a lot of comments on this one. And by the way, if you know Peter, feel free to uh, send him this video. Um, I'd be glad uh, to see what his reaction would be. That's it for now, folks. See you next time. This is Mike Norman. Bye-bye.